Okay, so this hopefully won't be too long and the audio will be halfway decent. Uh, I was going to test these. Sometimes they sound fine, sometimes they sound terrible, so I'm not going to use them. Or there's some cheap, cheap wireless, you know, microphones. A, a friend of mine has this, the Zach set. It sounds perfect, you know, but mine just sound like they have too much bass in them sometimes. But uh, here we go. Uh, so this is basically the CPU, RAM, and storage from the HP motherboard on the two on my two previous videos that I shown right that had an i5 i5 12400 so I put the 12400 on this motherboard here which is a Azerock uh, B660M Pro R RS it you know, it isn't the expensive. You know, it isn't the cheapest board, but it isn't expensive, and it's still using DDR4. You know, because I'm trying to keep this kind of slim down to the board budget. I guess I could have bought a DDR5 board for a similar price, but then the memory would cost way more. Plus, I wanted, you know, I thought I had another 32 gig set of RAM around, but it's an empty box so I don't know if they sent me no RAM and they just sent me an empty box because I had it had the RAM for over a year it's case air 3200 I think it's CL 16 I don't know what these run at they are 3200 and I don't know what's if the CL I'm guessing because it's OEM is probably CL 20 CL 22 that are usually pretty bad but it's an 8 gig stick and a 4 gig stick. I don't know what one's what. But the NVMe SSDs underneath the cooler already. I have my 12 terabyte hard drive hooked up. Yeah, I use a hard drive. The, I have replaced these so much. Because I get these on a deal. So when I buy like 4 or 5 of these. I just clone my drive over to a new one. And then I get rid of this drive as a used drive. I've reached... I, you know, delete everything off of it. All it has is my game file, file, file my games on it. All the draw, all the launchers will be on the NVMe and just this. Whatever game I'm usually playing at the moment will be on the NVMe. Then I'll move it back over. But most of the time, I'm running off this hard drive, and it's it runs games perfectly fine. I don't get stuttering really off this drive. So what I have here is the, and I have the Seasonic 300 watt, 350 watt power supply. This is just for testing because I haven't received my power supply or case yet that I plan on putting this in. I'm putting it in a, what did I get? I got like a, it still doesn't have tempered glass on the side. It just, you know, a basic case. It's a Case Air 100, D100, something like it. It's a basic case, right? And I and I ordered a Case Air 600 watt modular power supply for it. So right now it is running Windows 11 Pro. I still haven't activated it. I need to activate it. You know, I already tested the system, make sure everything was working. I just wanted to show, you know, what I'm what I'm what I'm doing with the i5. I'm gonna I'm gonna probably list that motherboard from this one, this one right here, this. So I'm going to list that HP motherboard. Once once I get the RAM I plan on going with, I'm going to probably still go with 3200 uh, CL16. Two 8 gig sticks. I'm still debating if I want to go with two 16 gig sticks. I'll probably do that. But I, I planned on if I can get my hands on a, some more uh, 3060 Ti's. Like I was getting back in November. I was paying like the lowest one I paid was under $225 shipping and all. And then the most I spent was like $250 with shipping. So to my door, $250 or $125 if I can find that range. But it seems like all of them are on eBay and locally they want th more than they're worth locally. So if I decide to buy one now, the cheapest ones... if Unless eBay isn't showing me all listings, I, 
I, I, I could see that happening. But right now, I can't. It, oh, it's like two hundred eighty dollars for a thirty sixty Ti for like nine dollars more or ten. I can just buy a forty sixty, just a little bit more. Like yeah, the forty sixty it in my benchmarks is a little bit slower than a thirty sixty Ti, but it's a brand new card with full warranty. Unlike buying the used one and I saved $10, $20, no warranty probably on it. Or I'll go with something like an AMD 7600. I'm thinking that route. But right now, it's just this configuration here. I might, you know, yeah, well, I'm going to. I'm going to test it with, with the other video card I have, that 60... That 6400 from AMD, the RX 6400 4 gig card. Because I had that, you know, in this system here. And I have this system up for sale now. So, yes, I hit this switch and turn this on and see what we happen. So, I do have a power button on. You can see it has RGB on it. So, here we go. I do need to go through the BIOS and, like, configure it more I, I don't know if this even running at 3200 and it, it it gives a little cursor so it's trying to it's, it's trying to boot from this first and then from the NVMe so I need to go in and tell it what it needs to do configure the yeah you know obviously configure the board to get the RAM it it's this OEM should be just default at the 3200 as you can see here it boots up everything's good that's why you now this is that clone of my main main system right well my, my gaming drives main system right so you see here that's from resident evil 7 i think uh, that's the screenshot i did so we'll go get the cpu up so you can see here it's an i5 2400 Okay, there's a 12 gigs of RAM because it's got a, an 8 gig and a 4 gig. And it is running at 3200. I don't know what to see. I need to check that out sometime. And here's my 12 terabyte. Oh, excuse me. 12 terabyte hard drive. Here's a model of the NVMe SSD. You see the size there. And here is the... Uh, integrated graphics so I did run Unigen Heaven on this machine and it got double the score off of onboard graphics as this onboard graphics did it got double so that's that system that system over here has an i5 80 8500 so it just has you know Intel HD I think it's UHD 630 it got like 30. It got like 30 points. Well, this one didn't do double. Because that one got like 30 FPS. 1080p low settings, right? This one got like 45. 45 FPS on average. You know, 1080p low settings. Just onboard graphics. It's like, oh, that's... That's pretty nice. It's, you know, 50% improvement. I haven't tested it in any games. So, I, I'll probably do that too. But you can see the system's up and running. Everything's showing up like it should. I haven't, you know. Oh, the lighting just went really bright. Okay. But I haven't uh, received my motherboard yet, which I got. I said I just said earlier. I haven't received the mother the motherboard. The I haven't received my case yet or my power supply yet. So I'm gonna be testing it with this. I, this these power supplies are fine they work really good it's seasonic it's a good brand you know it's not cheap it's not soup it's not even light this is a pretty hefty weight you know i'm not going to be running a high-end video card off of this the most i'm going to be running is that 6400 and i'm running that 6400 in that in that uh hp computer and that has a 310 300 watt 310 watt power supply in it this is 350 you know no, no, this one doesn't have 
a six pin or an eight pin coming off of it so and the most i seen power wise out of the the rx 6400 was like 50 watts so the system is going to be pretty efficient and yeah i don't i'm going to probably put it in another case i have but i can't put the side panel on it because this cooler is way too big to fit in a you know a standard case you know you got to make sure you you check what the max you know height or width of this cooler is because it's this is a 120 mil the center one is a 140 so yeah it seems to work pretty good brand new cooler on here yeah i guess that's the end of me testing it i'll probably do another video once the other stuff comes in yeah the other stuff is used a use case use power supply and it, you know it's coming from goodwill.com so you'll see that video up and post it so it's the system looks like it has a stock cooler on it but has an i5 was it uh 4690k yeah a 40s yeah it has a 4690k 16 gigs of ram it looks like it just has two 8 gig sticks of ram in it so it's obviously 8 and 8 16 then it has a one terabyte hard drive no video card and then you know the case air uh case and the case air power supply it's modular it's supposed to have all the cables in it so i'm going to transplant that stuff into a different case and then i'm going to use that case and motherboard the case and motherboard i keep saying motherboard the case and the power supply for this system and then yeah since the power side is basically pretty new then i have a decent system right here and i'll probably test this for a couple months and then i'll probably sell it like i always do you know <laughs> like i have two higher end systems and i don't need a system you know like this this is like 12th gen i have a 13th gen i the you know i9 13900k that's my work system well the system i use for work so then i have a whole bunch of other parts to build another work computer so when i'm done building the work computer i'm still waiting on my video cards so yeah it's just just a wait on that system so i still can't undo my work system to turn that into my gaming system but yeah this is going to be like the system i use for a while for my lower end games something that doesn't need you know like i have a 1080p monitor so i don't need nothing super high end yeah i don't need nothing super super high end this is plenty of fine matter of fact most of the games i play let's take this off here run perfectly fine on on this system right here which is the i5 8400 16 gigs of ram right now it has 120 gig ssd in it and a two terabyte hard drive but i did have the uh a 512 gig nvme and my 12 terabyte hard drive set up in here well a different 12 terabyte hard drive than the one over there so and the amd rx 6400s in this system now this you know i i play i you know on this system i was playing division 2 fortnite fortnite save the world uh bioshock you know older games and it played perfectly fine with this system you know like fortnite medium settings i was getting about 60 i i capped it at 60 because it did have a lot of stuttering in it if I didn't have it capped at 60. But I'm not going to make this too, too long. Like I said, this system is basically getting replaced by this custom build system. When this system right here does a purpose of what I wanted to do perfectly fine. This will do it fine too. Even if I put the video card from that, that HP into here. I just have more CPU power. That's it. You know the video card will still be the limiting factor but yeah uh, 
I probably gave close to a hundred dollars for this board so that's all the money I have into it so far in the cooler obviously and I got a deal on the cooler so why I bought it but yeah I think it's a good deal myself once I get it done I'll have another video posted on you know the the final version of this computer so thank you for watching